How are you doing, Jorge? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good, you know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I over your shirt. Did you iron that or is that a permanent press? Does you do you iron them? Yeah, yeah, like I do. I do. You iron them. Yes. Well, hey, they're for auditions. I wear my shirts 10, 20 minutes at a time. And now we have this little show, so there we go. Now I now I get to wear them for 40 minutes. <laughs> okay. Susan Coyne. Order Susan of Canada. Coyne. She's been nominated four times for the Writers Guild of Canada. She's won two Geminis, one for performing and one for writing on Slings and Arrows. She wrote The Man Who Invented Christmas. Also, Mozart in the Jungle. Her newest movie, Michelle Pfeiffer and in the French Exit. Theater, television, the motion pictures, all of it. I would like to introduce to you Susan Coyne. Yay! Yay! Susan Coyne. Well, thanks so much for doing this. Yeah. The snack show. Or snack, as some of us call it. I'm curious how you got into acting in the first place, because you, you went to the uh, National Theater School. It's like so many people, it's a high school teacher. Something hit me when I was doing plays where I just felt suddenly at home. I did get a degree in history, which I really enjoyed. I still had the feeling on no evidence that I should be an actor. I mean, on no evidence, because I wasn't doing it. So <laughs> I auditioned for the theater school, and that was the only place I got in. That show, Slings and Arrows, is incredible. Tell us sort of how this whole thing came about. I met Tekka Crosby. And she said, did you ever think about writing a show about the theater? I said, yes, even though I never had. I don't really just blab on about myself. No, I love it. What are you saying? Morning, Anna. Uh, any messages from Sanjay? I'm sorry, what? I got hooked up with Mark McKinney right away, and then Bob came in. The show is kind of my story in theater, and Bob's story, and Mark's story, and then a whole bunch of personal stuff. You mentioned Mozart in the Jungle. How did you get that? The, one of the producers was a big fan of Slings and Arrows, called and asked if I'd be interested in coming to work on this show. I said, sure. So I was immediately on a plane to Los Angeles, and I started right away in the writer's room for that season. Which I was only supposed to be there, I think, for six weeks. Will said, you're coming to Venice. And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk about your Christmas movie that I just adore. And... It's about a miser. And on Christmas Eve, he meets some kind of supernatural guides. Get the name right and the character will appear. Scratch. Scrounger. Come on. Scrooge. A side of Dickens that we haven't seen. It's really based on the fact that he pitched this Christmas book to his publishers and they said, not much market for Christmas books. He wrote it in six weeks. The characters were so vivid that they came to life in his imagination. It just had this really rich stew of a moment in a creator's life that could make a fun movie. In 2017, you won the Order of Canada. Did they send you a letter or? No, they what? call and you and it looks like it's from CRA. It's from the government of Canada. So I went, well, I'm not answering that. But they kept going back. <laughs> and it was a marvelous day. You're there with so many interesting people from so many walks of life. And it does make you really proud to be a Canadian. And the motto is they desire a better country. What a fantastic thing to all get together on. Really humbling, but also really special. Thank you, Susan. Oh, thank you so much. She's yeah. amazing. Oh my. She's pretty special and talented and funny and creative and lovely human being. Remember the olden days when they had the old monks do this lettering? What were they called? Scribes. Uh, people who were below them, what were they called? Subscribes. Subscribe. Oh. Subscribe. Oh. Subscribe. Oh.